HMT. Good evening, everybody. Once again, it's quiz time. This time, it's our second Western preliminary, and our eight keen contestants in this round will be introduced to you by our hostess, Vandana Mohan. Take it away, Vandana. Thank you, Siddharth. We have four teams for you, one from Pune, one from Bhopal, and two from Bombay. And our very first team is from Armed Forces Medical College, Pune. We have Ajit Gopinath and Ashwini Shukla. Ajit says his life's ambition is to be a reasonably good doctor and to watch a matador in action in Spain. Are you going to take a trip to Spain soon? Let's hope so. Well, I hope so too. Thank Welcome you. to Quiz Time. And his teammate uh, Ashwini says that his formative years were very influenced by Sherlock Holmes. Does that mean you have some intelligent guesses about tonight's uh, questions? In a few minutes from now, you may s some of them may prove correct. For your sake, I hope so too. Welcome to Quiz Time. Thank you. And our next team is from Maulana Azad College of Technology, Bhopal. We have Manish Manke and Ganesh Nayak. Ganesh is studying to be an architect and is interested in wildlife. Have you visited many sanctuaries? Yes, I have visited quite a few. Which ones? In Kanha and National, uh, Silent Valley National Park. We usually do have a few questions in wildlife. You should be able to tackle those. Well, I hope so. All the very best to you. Thank and his you. teammate Manish Manke is uh, doing his mechanical engineering. Manish, what are your interests? Sport. Any uh, particular sport? Football. Do you play it actively? No. Just a keen interest? Yes. Nice to have you with us tonight. Mm -hmm. And our third team is from Ram Narayan Ruya College, Bombay. Two undergraduate students of science, Suchi Shri Dev and Ketan Bhalakia. Suchi Shri is um, a budding astrophysicist. Um, do you want to go in for research? Yeah. What particular field? Origins of the universe. That sounds very interesting. Welcome to quiz time. Thank you. And Ketan, like me, is a PG Woodhouse fan. Who's your favorite character? Cheese. I like him too. All the very best. Thank you. And two chemical engineering students from University Department of Chemical Technology, Bombay. We have Sanat Shetty and Samir Kuchatkar. We welcome back Sanat Shetty, who was a participant on Quiz Time 86. Sanat, how does it feel to be back on Quiz Time 88? Nice to be back. Nice to have you with us. And his teammate Samir, who is very interested in football and chess and belongs to Goa. How does it feel to live in Bombay? I prefer Goa. Uh, do you get many opportunities to go back? Yeah, I go back every year. Lucky you. All the very best to all the four teams tonight, and it's time to start the quiz. Yes, we certainly are ready to go. Best of luck to all of you. Sherlock Holmes, you're in luck. Here are all your clues all in one place. And what do you know? The first six questions come to you, because we open up with our firing line round. Each team gets a succession of six questions to be answered within a time limit of 45 seconds. You gain five points for a right answer, no points taken away for a wrong answer. Correct, Vandana. You got full points for that. Anyway, now it's the turn of Armed Forces Medical College, Pune. Your first question coming up now. Which city was formerly known as Saigon? Uh, pass. It's Ho Chi Minh City. Which British Governor General forced subsidiary alliances on Indian princely states? Dalhousie. Wrong, it's Lord Wellesley. By what name was Iran's secret police known during the reign of the Shah? Pass. pass. Savak is the correct answer. In whose Akhara did India's champion wrestlers like Ved Prakash, Sudesh Kumar and Kartar Singh train? Changi Ram. Wrong, it's Guru Hanuman. Which chemical compound is the characteristic component of quartz? Silica. Silica is correct. Who played the title role in the 1943 film, Tan Sen? Mm -hmm. Your time's out, Amphos Medical College. The correct answer is K.L. Segal. How many did they get, Vandana? They got one, five points. Bad luck, Amphos Medical College. Well, the next set of six questions goes to MACT Bhopal. Your first question starts off now. Which capital city was formerly known as Batavia? Jakarta. Correct. Which British Governor General outlawed the practice of sati in India? William Bendik. Yes. What is the counterintelligence agency of Israel known as? Mossad. No, it's Shinbet. Under which cricketing coach from Chandigarh did cricketers like Kapil Dev and Chetan Sharma train? Deshpe Mazad. Correct. Which acid mixed with nitric acid forms aqua regia? Hydrochloric. Correct. Who played the title role in the film? Baiju Bawara. You've got time. You, yes. you want to hazard an answer? Five seconds left to go? Yes. Pankaj Malik. No. no, not Pankaj Malik. The correct answer is Bharat Bhushan. MSAT, those were your six questions. Vandana, how many did they get in all? 20 points. 
20 points, pretty good going. Next set of six questions goes out to Aaron Ruya Bombay with the first question coming up now. Which city was formerly known as Salisbury? Pass. Pass, it's Harare. Which British administrator was the principal author of the Indian Penal Code? Pass. It's Lord Macaulay. Which country's secret security service has the acronym BOSS, Bureau of State Security? South, South, South Africa. Africa. Correct. Who was the first coach in athletics to be given the Dronacharya Award? OM Nambiar. Nambiar. That's right, OM Nambiar, Piti Usha's coach. Which com chemical compound is the main constituent of dynamite? Nitroglycerin. Granite. Correct. Who played the title role in the film Anarkali? Dina Rai and Pradeep Kumar. Well, I asked for the title role, and the title role was that of Anarkali, and that was played by Bina Rai, so you did have the right answer. Well done, Arun Ruya Bombay. How many did they get in the end, Bandara? They got 20 points. 20 points is good after a slow start. Anyway, the last six questions goes to UDCD Bombay. Here's your first question beginning now. Which capital city was formerly known as Christiana? Oslo. Oslo is correct. Which British Governor General enabled the annexation of Indian princely states under the doctrine of lapse? Lord Dalhousie. Dalhousie is correct. What is the counterintelligence agency of Britain known as? MI5. Correct. Which former footballer coached the Indian team for the 1988 Nehru Gold Cup football tournament? Pass. Pass. It's Said Naimuddin. Which element is present in all proteins but not in carbohydrates? Nitrogen. Nitrogen. Correct. Who played the role of Jinnah in Attenborough's Gandhi? Uh, Alec Padamsi. Correct, UGC. With that, I believe they topped their round. Isn't that so, Vandana? Yes, 25 points. That's a good score. Nice bright start all round, except for AFMC Pune. They just have five, but then they still have four more rounds to go. This is where we open up all our questions to all the teams. Questions on the buzzer. The first team to hit the buzzer gets first crack at the answer. If they get it wrong, it passes on to the second team, and so the cycle goes on. The order in which you press the buzzer also determines the order in which you get a chance to answer the question. So you could gain 10, 8, 6 or 4 points for a right answer, or lose 5, 4, 3 or 2 points for a wrong answer. The first section to use this system is our visual round. So all eyes on the screen at the center of the pillar behind me, hands at the ready by the buzzers, because here's your first clue. It's a picture of an international sports personality whom you then have to identify. Here's the photograph. Let's see, you got there first. AFMC Pune, yours. Fatima Vidbred. Correct, AFMC. That was Fatima Whitbread of the United Kingdom, one-time world record holder in the javelin throw. Full points to you, AFMC. Next question, next clue rather, is from Wildlife, in which you have to identify the ornamentally feathered bird you're about to see. Take a look at the photograph first. Okay, let's see, you got there first. AFMC Pune. The bird of paradise. Wrong, question passes. Iron Ruya. Pass. Pass. You're going to lose points for that. Nobody else taking a chance. Well, the correct answer is the great egret, a common marsh bird whose growth of decorative feathers in the breeding season was prized by fashionable European women and almost caused its extinction in the last century. That's what our research people have on the notes. So, next clue. Our third visual clue is a photograph of a famous work of Indian art. At which historic location was this found? Right, let's see who it is. AFMC Pune. The Elephanta Caves. Elephanta Caves is correct, so you pick up 10 points over there. Fourth clue. We delve into history once again for our fourth clue to see a picture of a familiar figurine. To which civilization does this figurine belong? Here's a photograph. Right, who is it then? AFMC Pune. The Indus Valley Civilization. Can you be more specific? The Harappa. Wrong. Question passes. Arun Ruya, it's yours. Mohenjo Daro. That's right. It's the dancing girl of Mohenjo Daro, considered a national treasure. On to our fifth clue. This time, it's a film. Take a look at this little scene and tell us which film it's from. Here's the film. Right, 
right. Now that you've seen it, who gets there first? Arun Ruya, it's yours. Do gagan ki chhao me. That's right. That's a correct answer. Full points to you. Very well done, Arun Ruya College. That was the film in which Kishore Kumar not only acted, but also directed and produced. On to our last clue here. This time again is from a film. We have a key dance number from a great Hollywood musical. Name the film from which this excerpt is taken. Here's your clue. What are we waiting for? Only one team registered on a panel. Let's see who it is. FMC Pune, yours. Whatever Lola wants. Wrong. Question passes. But there's still nobody left on the queue. The correct answer is Cole Porter's Can Can, the film that starred Maurice Chevalier, Frank Sinatra and Shirley MacLaine. Well, that's the end of our visual run. Let's see what the scoreboard is saying. FMC Pune has 10 points. MSAT Bhopal has 20 points. Arunduya Bombay has 34 points. And UDCT Bombay has 25 points. At the end of the opening two rounds, then, we have the first three teams fairly closely bunched together with AFMC just that little bit behind. But now we go into our main general knowledge section. Ten questions on the buzzer to be conducted just like the visual section and the scoring pattern, which remains exactly the same. Here we go with the first of your ten questions coming up. Hands at the ready by the buzzers. Which Portuguese general led the capture of Goa and established Portuguese power in Western India? Who gets it? M.A.C.T. Bhopal. Albuquerque. That's right. Alfonso de Albuquerque. Second question. What Latin name is given to the system of disproving the validity of a premise by first making an assumption and then proving the opposite to be true? Nobody on the panel as yet. Time is ticking on. Seven seconds up. Nobody? Well, the correct answer is reductio ad absurdum, also called indirect proof. Third question. In the Olympic hockey match between India and the United States of America, which India won 24-1, which player scored a record 12 goals? Who gets it? MECT, yours. Balbir Singh. Question passes. UDCT. It's Roop Singh. Roop Singh is correct, and so you pick up points. MECT, I'm afraid you lose points over there. Fourth question. From which character from our 18th century play do we get the term used for a verbal blunder where a word is wrongly used in place of another similar sounding word with a totally different meaning? Who is it this time? Aaron Ruya. Mrs. Malaprop. That's right, it's Mrs. Malaprop from which we get the word, the term malapropism. Fifth question. Which 16th century Danish astronomer, by discovering a nova, demolished the Aristotelian doctrine of the unchanging nature of stars and led to the acceptance of the Copernican world view. Who's got it this time? It's UDCD Bombay. Taiko Brahe. Taiko Brahe is the correct answer. That's right, we're on to our sixth question now. Which article of the Constitution empowers the President of India to return any bill passed by Parliament for reconsideration? Who is it? Nobody on the panel? Time's up. It's Article 111. Seventh question. Which flightless bird, other than the emu, would you find in Australia? Who is it? MACT. The kiwi. Question passes. That's wrong. Iron Ruya. The gnu. Wrong. Passes once again. Nobody. The correct answer is the cassowary. Right? Eighth question coming up. Which Greek philosopher has written about the mythical submerged land of Atlantis in his dialogues Timaeus and Critias? Nobody on the panel as yet? Time's out. The correct answer is Plato from his dialogues. Ninth question in this section. Which composer king of Kerala was proficient not only in Carnatic music but also in Drupads, Kyals and Tumris? Do we have anybody? Yes, it's Arun Ruya. Ilya Raj. Wrong. Question passes. AFMC. Uh, have to hurry you. Ravi Verma. Your time's out. Question passes once again. 
Anybody else? No, nobody else. The correct answer is Maharaja Swati Thirunan. Tenth question. Who was the first representative of the East India Company to approach the Mughal Emperor Jahangir requesting trading concessions in 1608? UDCT, yours. It's Thomas Rowe. No, wrong. Question passes. Aaron Ruya. Joe Hawkins. Well, I think I'll give that to you as actually Captain William Hawkins, not Joe Hawkins, but I'll give that to you since it's quite a difficult one. UDCD, you'll lose points for that, I'm afraid. That's the end of our main general knowledge section. Let's see what the scores are. AFMC Pune has six points, MACT Bhopal has 20 points, Arun Ruya has 43 points, and UDCT Bombay has 38 points. So with Arun Ruya in the lead at 43, but only by five points over UDCT Bombay, we go into our oral round. In this round, we have six audio clues for you. We have the number of points that you could gain for a right answer, but the number of points that you could lose for a wrong answer remain exactly the same. Are you ready? Here we go. Our first audio clue is from an offbeat film of the 1970s. Listen to the song and then tell us who the singer is. Three teams went for the buzzer, but the one that got there first was Arun Ruya. Can you answer that? Preeti Sagar. That's correct. You get full points for that. Our next clue is taken from the work of one of Europe's major 18th century composers, who was tutored by Antonio Salieri. Listen to this piece of music, then tell us who the composer is. Here it is. Right. AFMC. Can you answer that? Mozart. No, that's not the correct answer. Question passes. Nobody else? The correct answer is Franz Schubert. And what you just heard was from his famous Unfinished Symphony in B minor. Third clue. You're about to hear D.V. Paluskar, the great maestro of yesteryear, singing your popular bhajan. Listen to the bhajan and then tell us who the lyrics are by. <laughs> Right, the team that got their first this time is MECT Bhopal. Can you answer that? Mira Bhai. Correct, MECT. It's the Mira Bhajan, and so full points to you. We are on to our fourth clue now. It's an excerpt of a much heard theme of a classic love story of the 1960s. Listen to the music and then tell us of which film is this the theme. You're bound to have heard it on the radio before. Here it is. No takers so far. Time is ticking. You still have some time. Well, it looks like nobody's going to take a chance. No, time's up. The correct answer is a theme from a man and a woman, the film by Claude Lelouch. Fifth clue. It's a song from a Hindi movie now, from which you have to identify the composer of his song. Here it is. Right, Aaron Ruya, your turn. Salil Chaudhary. That's right, it's Salil Chaudhary and the film, of course, was Madhubati. We end this round with a pop super hit of the 60s that is still quite popular in India. You have to tell us the first line of this song. Here it is. Two, three, four, tell the people what she wore. It was an itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. Remember, the question is, which is the first line of this song? Who gets it? MACT Bhopal. Sorry, your time's up. Question passes to AFMC. You don't have that either. Passes once again. Nobody else in the queue. The song, of course, was, and it's a itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. But the first line, what the one we asked for, is she was afraid to come out of the locker. And of course, that song's by Brian Hyland. That's the end of all around. Let's take a quick look at the scores. FMC Pune has minus three points. MACT Bhopal has 20 points. Arun Ruya has 53 points. And UDCT Bombay has 38 points. 
So we go into this final 90 second end buzzer section with Aaron Ruya College Bombay in the lead at 53 but then very much within striking range are UDCD Bombay at 38 and I advise the other two teams not to give up even at this late stage but keep fighting for those points. Here in this section only the team that presses the buzzer first gets a chance to answer the question. Two points are awarded for the correct answer but two points are taken away for the wrong answer. For the last time in this round we'll start that clock now. By what screen name was the Indian movie star Ruby Myers known? Ruya. Silochana. Correct. Which was the first submarine to voyage under the North Pole? UDCT. Nautilus. Correct. Who wrote the polemical tract called Riddles in Hinduism? MECT. Bihar Ambedkar. Correct. Who founded the International Girl Guides Movement? UDCT. Lord Baden Powell. Wrong. It's Agnes Baden Powell, his sister. Of which mineral is sapphire a species? Ruya. Carborundum. Wrong. It's corundum. Who did Prakash Padukone beat to win the All England Badminton singles title in 1980? AFMC. Name Sweden. Correct. Where in Cuba did the US sponsor a landing by armed Cuban refugees in 1961? UDCT. The Bay of Pigs. Correct. Whom did Mark Antony divorce to be with Cleopatra? Ruya. Julia. Wrong, it's Octavia. Which aquatic event was introduced as a competitive sport in the Olympics in 1984? AFMC. Rhythmic gym. Wrong. It's synchronized swimming. Which Hindu deity is also known as Vishwanath or Mrityunjaya? Nobody? It's Shiva. Which line on a map joins points in the oceans which have equal salinity? Isobaric. Isobaric. Wrong. It's isohaline. What would you call the young one of a fish? MACT. Ro. Wrong. It's fry. Name the first space shuttle. UDCD. Enterprise. Wrong. It's Columbia. And that's the end of our buzzer section. And the winner is Arendruya Bombay. <laughs>